fourth grade, module one, lesson 13, homework. Number one, use the standard algorithm to solve the following subtraction problems. A, 2,431 minus 341. So we're gonna start all the way on the right in the ones place. And we're gonna start with one minus one minus one is zero. Then we have three minus four. Now if we have three, we can't take four away because we'll end up with a negative number. So we need to borrow from the next place value, which is this four. So we're gonna borrow from the four, make it a three, and then we can add a group of 10 to the three, making it 13. So we have 13 minus four is nine, 3 minus 3 is 0, and 2 minus nothing is 2. We get 2,090. B, 422,431 minus 14,321. 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 2 minus 4, we can't do that. So we're going to borrow from the 2 and make this a 1, and this becomes a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0, 4 minus nothing is 4. So we get 408,110. And C, 422,431 minus 92,420. 1 minus 0 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 4 minus 4, 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 2 minus 9. We cannot take 9 away from 2, so I'm going to borrow from the 4 and make it a 3. This becomes a 12. 12 minus 9 is 3, and 3 minus nothing is 3. We get 330,011. D. 1 minus 0 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 minus 4 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 2 minus 9 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 4, make it a 3. That becomes 12. 12 minus 9 is is 3 and 3 minus 3 is nothing so I'm not even gonna put the 0 down we have 30,011 e 0 minus 0 is 0 3 minus 0 is 3 4 minus 3 1 2 minus 2 0 8 minus 9 we can't do I'm gonna borrow that becomes an 8 this becomes 18 18 minus 9 is 9 8 minus nothing is 8. So we have 890,130. And F, 9 minus 9 is 0. 8 minus 7 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 7, we can't do. I'm going to borrow from the 4. That becomes 3. This becomes 13 minus 7 is 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. And 2 minus 1 is 1. We have 106,010. Now G and H, we need to line up ourselves. So it's really important when you're writing these, we have 2,431, that you make sure you're lining up the place values. If you don't line up the place values, you're going to subtract the wrong digits from each other and you'll get the wrong answer. So I'm, when I subtract 920, I need to make sure the 9 is under the 4 because that's the hundreds place, and the two and the three line up, and the one and the zero line up. One minus zero is one, three minus two is one, four minus nine we can't do. Borrow from the two, it becomes a one, this becomes 14 minus nine is five, and one minus nothing is one. So we have 1,511. And H. 892,431 minus 520,800. So all my place values are lined up. 1 minus 0 is 1. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 8 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 2. It becomes a 1. This becomes 14 minus 8, which is 6. 1 minus 0 is 1. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 8 minus 5 is 3. We have 371,631. 
What number must be added to 14,056 to result in a sum of 38,773? So remember that a sum is the answer to an addition problem. So it's saying that some number, we don't know what number, must be added to 14,056, and we get a sum or an answer of 38,773. So the way to figure this out, we need to know what plus 14,056 equals 38,773. We need to work backwards. So I'm going to subtract to get my answer. I'm going to start with 38,773 minus 14,056. So I need to be careful where I didn't do there was line them up. So I need to line them up with the correct place values, 14,000. 56. So now they're correctly lined up. 3 minus 6 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 7, make it a 6. So we have 13 minus 6 is 7. 6 minus 5 is 1. 7 minus 0 is 7. 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. We get 24,717. Draw a tape diagram to model each problem. Use numbers to solve and write your answers as a statement. Check your answers. Number three, an elementary school collected 1,705 bottles for a recycling program. A high school also collected bottles. Both schools collected 3,627 bottles combined. How many bottles did the high school collect? Let's draw a tape diagram. Saying elementary school collected 1,705 bottles. A high school collected some, we, so we don't know the high school. And they collected 3,627 combined. So what we have is the elementary school collected 1,705. The total was 3,627 bottles. And we need to know what that is. So in order to figure that out, we can subtract 3,627 from 1,705 to figure out this missing number. 3,627 minus 1,705. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 6 minus 7 we can't do, so I'm going to borrow from the 3. That becomes a 2. And this becomes 16. 16 minus 7 is 9. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So we get 1,922. So this would be 1,922. And in order to check, so let's do our check. We would add 1,705 and 1,922, and let's make sure that they add up to 3,627. 5 plus 2 is 7, 0 plus 2 is 2, 7 plus 9 is 16, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So these do, in fact, check out. And last step is to write our answer as a statement, so we can say there would be One thousand nine hundred twenty two bottles collected from the high school. Number four, a computer shop sold $356,291 worth of computers and accessories. It sold $43,720 worth of accessories. How much did the computer shop sell in computers? Okay, start with our tape diagram. So it's saying it sold a total, so the total here is $356,291. In computers and accessories that had 43,720 of accessories and then the computers we don't know it wants to know how much did the computer shop sell in computers 
figure this out, we're going to subtract 356,291 minus, make sure you line up your place values, 43,720. 1 minus 0 is 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 2 minus 7 we can't do, I'm going to borrow, that becomes a 5, and we have 12 minus 7 is 5, 5 minus 3 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 3 minus nothing is 3. We get 312,571, but hopefully would be how much the computers have. So to check, let's add 312,571 plus 43,720. Now it's not always necessary to put the commas there. Sometimes, a lot of times I like to leave them out when I'm adding or subtracting because if you write sloppy enough or Sometimes it can be mistaken for a number, like it might look like a 1 if you make your comma too big or something. So I just like to leave it out to avoid any confusion. Let's add. 1 plus 0 is 1. 7 plus 2 is 9. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 3 is 6. 1 plus 4 is 5. And 3 plus nothing is 3. 356,291. So it does work. We would say, our statement would be say, the computer shop, let's say the shop sold, what's this, $312,571 in computers. Number five, the population of a city is 538,381. In that population, 148,170 are children. How many adults live in the city? Let's start with our tape diagram. So the total population is 538,381. We want to know how many are children and how many are adults. So let's split it up into children and adults. We know that the total is 538,381. The children are 148,170. And the adults we do not know. We can figure out the adults by subtracting. So 538,381 minus 148,000. 170. 1 minus 0 is 1. 8 minus 7 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 8 minus 8 is 0. 3 minus 4, we can't do. I'm going to borrow. 13 minus 4 is 9, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So there should be 390,211 adults, but let's do a check just to make sure. So our check. We're going to add 390,211 plus 148,170 and see if we get 538,381. 148,170 plus 390,211. 0 plus 1 is 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. 1 plus 2 is 3. 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 9 is 13, carry the 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So we get 538,381, so it does check out. And our statement would be that there are, this was our answer, remember, 390,211 adults living in the city. Part B, 186,101 of the adults are male. How many adults are female? So we're going back to the question here. So we need to use our answer from part A to help us with part B. So it's saying that 186 
of them are males? How many are females? So we have males and females. There are 186,101 males. We don't know how many are female, but we do know that the total is 390,211. So we can subtract 390,211 minus 186,101 to get our answers. 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 0 minus 6 we can't do. I'm going to borrow from the 9. It becomes an 8. 10 minus 6 is 4. 8 minus 8 is 0. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So hopefully there are 204,110 females. But let's do a check to make sure that that's correct. So we would add 186,101 plus 204,110. 1 plus 1 is, 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 6 plus 4 is 10, carry the 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, plus 0 is 9, 1 plus 2 is 3. We should get 390,211, we do, so that checks out. So we could say there are 204,110 females living in the city.